What's up guys, Dino here, welcome back to my racing channel. Not a bad day, not a bad day at all. First race, Pentland Hills, romps in, good race, spot on, absolutely spot on. Happy with the run. Clan de Zobo, little bit disappointing. I know it finished second, but I was a little bit disappointed with it. Never really travelled, there was a couple of times Harry Cobden, the jockey, just just sort of had to keep him up to his work. So I'm going to I'm going to take out of that that Cheltenham took a little bit out of you, a little bit out of you. Saying that the winner, as we said, Ken Boy, as fresh as a daisy. That's why it's won by that distance because it never got a run at Cheltenham because it fell. So it's it's, it's as fresh as it's the freshest horse in that race and I, th I had a funny feeling because it hadn't had a race it was as fresh as a daisy that's why it won by a good what was it five six seven lengths um but clan is over ran a good race but i think if ken boy had had a race i think clan is over would have won it but because ken boy never had that race at cheltenham or did have the race but it fell after the first it was as fresh as a daisy Fresh is a daisy, but a good run from Clan de Zobo. For he in the machine, I am glad to a degree that Ruby pulled the horse up. I thought he was travelling okay. I never seen anything, to be honest, but Ruby must have felt something under him that just wasn't right, and that's why he's pulled the horse up. We've all seen in the last three or four weeks. For instance, Sir Eric, what can just happen at the spur of a moment? So I'm glad that Ruby, the experienced jockey that he is, has felt that for he's just, there's not been anything, there's been something amiss, hence the reason they pulled it up. So, was I disappointed with that? I was disappointed because, see when you see the ones that are finished, Bova there just ain't the same horse over the last two races. Um, Super Sunday's won the race but if Faheen if the, the, the Cheltenham Faheen had had been turned up in that race because the ground had went to soft that was right that would have played right into the hands of Faheen right into the hands of him so I was a little bit disappointed because if he had been fit and he was okay I, I honestly honestly feel he would have won that race just because the ground had turned to soft I really honestly feel he would have won that. But I'm glad Ruby did what he did because, as I say, he obviously felt the horse wasn't right under him, so he's pulled it up. So, not a bad day. We got a winner out of it. We got a second. And obviously, Fourheen's been pulled up. Alright? So, we'll go into tomorrow. So, here we are. First, three tips again. That I'm going to give you three very difficult races, absolutely three very difficult races, just like yesterday. Um, and the bad thing about this is every race has only got seven runners in it, which is disappointing. So it's going to have to be win, win, win. So I've had a look at this one. Had a look at itchy, itchy feet. Um, had a look at his form and he is due a grade one. He's been running in good races. He's just been a bit unlucky the last couple of races. He's carrying 11 stone four. He's got an overall rating of 150, which is great. Really good. It is a good horse. Um, we'll just do a quick look because the goings, well, it turned soft. Um, earlier today and if we look at his form good 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 second first 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 soft third granted it was in a, a grade one um, and for there that race there he was 142 carrying 11 stone 7 tomorrow he's, he's up 
he's up eight pound because of that race granted he's on his own four and if it is going to be soft tomorrow two and a half well two miles half a furlong has he got a chance yes he's got a chance but he doesn't really like that ground Aramon quickly look at Aramon again he ran in the same race and I'm going to show you that I'm going to show you something here once I show you the next horse but Aramon soft he's ran on soft and he was second beating one and a quarter lengths but that race there which was at Cheltenham two or three weeks ago soft finished 11 and a half lanes but there's a question mark there which i'm going to come back to precious cargo it's only had two runs and this to me is the dark course of the race i feel the winners won in these three the one i'm going to go for in the 220 entry is going to be aramon and i'm going to tell you exactly why I am absolutely scared stiff of Precious Cargo. Scared stiff of it. Two runs. This reminds me of actually Pentland Hills. Not the race there, but the, the race at Cheltenham. Quite similar. Same trainer, same jockey, similar race. This has only had two runs and it's been over class fours. And it's now getting put into a grade one. So Mr. Henderson obviously thinks this boy's got an absolute belter of a chance to win this race so he's going to be i think he's a bigger danger than itchy feet in my opinion but the winner's definitely coming from these three but i'm hoping that aramon i'm hoping that aramon wins it i'm going to show you why at the minute If we look at this, why has that happened? That shouldn't be there. There we go. If we look at this, Aramon. Now this was a race at Cheltenham. Now, Itchy Feet. If we just go forget these two, if we look at Itchy Feet. Now Itchy Feet, look at what was what Itchy Feet beat. Now that came in second today next to Pentland Hills but there's a big difference here Aramon's down here in 6th but if you look at the distance the distance was 6 lengths Itchy Feet was in front of Fakir and then Felix Desi a nose and a head so you're, you're talking about 6 lanes between Itchy Feet and Aramon weight wise on that day was 11 stone 7 but the overall rating, Aramon had 154 to 142. And we can all work that out. That's £12 of a difference. And Itchy Feet has beat Aramon by about six lengths. So try and remember that. £12 of a difference and Itchy Feet has won or he's beat Aramon by, 12 length, eh, by six lengths. If we look at the weights now... Itchy feet, they've both got the same weight, but now all of a sudden, Itchy feet's on 150, Aramon's on 152. There's a 10 pound swing to Aramon. Tells me that Aramon and Itchy feet should almost finish dead heat on the line. That's how close this, this is. So, I think Aramon will win that 220 entry tomorrow. But my danger is pressure. That has to be a danger. Has to be a danger. Nicky Henderson is not going to put this into a grade one after just running two class four or grade fours. Eh, yeah, class fours. So my winner for the 220 entry is Aramon, Precious Cargo as the danger. Alright? 
We will then go into the 250. And in the 250, again, there's, there's only seven runners in this, which is disappointing. Um, to me, yeah, the winner's one of these two in my book. I've had a look at the form, and there's a couple of horses here, you know, Chris's Dream, Mr. Whipped, Drover's Lane. They've all got decent form, absolutely got decent form. I really can't see top of the game getting beat. I really can't, unless it falls. This is certainly a danger to it. But I think if top of the game is on his top of the game, if he's on, I really think he'll win. That's, this race was, to a degree, quite simple. It might absolutely embarrass me, and Crucial Roll might win it as we know what racing's like. But, top of the game, if he turns up, to me, he wins the race. So that's that to me is a simple one. The 325. Again, if we look at this race, there's a lot of, well, there's two or three of the, the runners, we've already seen at Cheltenham. Waiting patiently. Has it got a shout? Absolutely. Politologue, we all know how well Politologue ran the other day at Cheltenham. Has he got a shout? Absolutely. Min, has he got a shout? Absolutely. Top Notch, has he got a shout? Absolutely. So there's three or four here that ran against each other at Cheltenham. Um, but if you look at the first three or four, their weights and their overall ratings are quite close. 162 top notch, 167 men, 166 politolog, 169 waiting patiently. Any of these four could win this. Any of these four. And that just shows you how tough this race is, along with the other two, it's been to pick these winners. But am I going to jump off politolog after the run that he gave at Cheltenham? No. I'm going with Politolog in this to win it. Waiting patiently is a danger. Min's a danger. Top notch is a danger. But if I hadn't done Politolog at Cheltenham, if I'm being honest, I'd, I'd probably... Thank you, dog. Always happens. Um, I'd probably do waiting patiently. But I'm not. I think Politolog will win it. It's, it likes the soft ground. Two miles four won't be a problem for it. So for me, in the 325 at entry, it's politolog for me. Now, I did see only three tips, but I'm going to show you one that I like in this race. The 405 at entry is over the Grand National Fences. And you're going to think I'm absolutely bonkers here. But by looking at the form, I know I've always said to you, ladies and gents, stay away from races that are 15 and 20 and 30 horses. This one's got 29 horses in it. 29 horses. Do I think I've got the winner? Well, again, it's over the national fences. We all know what the Grand National is like. It's a, a pin. But I've actually looked at the form of some of these horses. And again, I'm going to show you why I've picked this horse. If we go into the favourite and have a look at the favourite. Now there's a, a, a race in here. Now where was it? Is it that race? Do -do -do. No, it's not that race. But there's one of the races, I think it's this one. Yeah, this one here. Now this was in January, 
on soft ground at Cheltenham. Janinka was second in this race, beaten ahead. Third was Bally Hill, which was nine lengths further back in third. If we look at the weights, that was almost a stone that Janinka was given Bally Hill. 144 Bally Hill, 150 Janinka. Not much there, but in weights, there goes my dog, but in weights, it was a stone. So what we'll do now is 10 stone, 12 Bally Hill, 11 stone, 11 Janinka. If we look at the weights now, Janinka, 11 stone, 12, Bally Hill, 10 stone, 6. That is massive. That is huge. I mean, 10 stone, 6, that is something in the region of about 18, 18 pounds. That's huge. Especially if it's going to be on soft ground. I'm going to take Bally Hill in this 405 entry. That is what I'm going to call my special, special tip. So that was a little surprise for you all. Bally Hill, I'd probably do it each way. I wouldn't put this on the nose because there's 29 runners there because you'll probably get maybe the first five. So if your horse comes in the first five, you do it each way, you're going to get money back. But I really do fancy this tomorrow. I could be absolutely wrong, but I really do fancy it. Bally Hill, 405, entry tomorrow. That's my little special horse of the day. All right. Any new subscribers out there, let's hit that button. Come on, let's get this channel bouncing. Let's hit that red button. Let's hit the bell. You'll get all my videos today, tomorrow, next week, and next month. And don't forget, Saturday is the big day for the Grand National. Yes, I, I'm going to actually pick three horses in the Grand National and give you them on Friday night. So, you've got all the tips for tomorrow. You've got the special tip of Bally Hill for the 405 entry tomorrow as well. Um, keep viewing the videos. As I say, keep hitting that subscribe button. Keep hitting the bell. Keep viewing. You're all doing a great job. And all I'm saying is, make sure you watch the 405 because that's my special. Never done a special before, but I really do think if this horse is fit, which I do expect it to be fit because it's had about six runs, so it's going to be fit, it's had a rest of 48 days, I think that might be there or thereabouts. Anyway, have a good day today and a good day tomorrow. I'll speak to you all soon.